This video will show you how to summarize categorical variables in Jump, both graphically and numerically. Now we talked about categorical variables in class in terms of making contingency tables, row and column proportions, and bar charts, but we didn't actually explore in class how to do this in Jump. So in this video, we're going to do this using this car data set where we have one column that tells us the drive of the car. Is it um, front wheel, um, rear wheel, or all wheel drive? And then also we have this size variable at the end. Is it a small, mid-sized, or large car? So two categorical variables to analyze. Now the most basic situation is the same as what you've done for numerical variables. Just go to Analyze, Distribution and then choose the variable you want to summarize. So let's start with size. I'm going to click on size and then click on the Y columns button and hit OK. And now it's going to create a bar chart for me instead of a histogram. So I can still use the stack button to turn it sideways. And now what I'll see is instead of getting a histogram and means and medians and quartiles, I now get a bar chart and it's giving me proportions instead. So I get the counts and the proportions. So these are basically um, the relative frequency and the frequency tables. So I can see 26% of cars were large, 31% mid-sized, and about 43% small. Um, so that's a quick, easy way to analyze just one categorical variable at a time. The next step would be, what if I want to analyze the two categorical variables together? Then this is actually similar to regression where we need to go to the, the button for fit y by x. Fit y by x is whenever I want to compare two variables to each other, whether it be numeric or categorical. So here, instead of doing regression though, with our categorical variables, it's going to create a contingency table for us. So first I'm going to select drive and make that a response variable and size I will make my x variable. And I have two categorical variables so jump is just going to automatically look at the variable type and know what to do. It's actually showing me this in the graphic down here. This is showing a chart of the variable types and what sort of analysis it will do. When we see the two blue triangles um, we can see that if I have two numeric variables, it's going to make a scatter plot like is shown here. But if I have two categorical variables, kind of the red and green bars here, where those cross, I see contingency. It's going to make a contingency table for me. Okay, so I've input my variable types. I'm going to click OK. And here's my output. So the first graph that pops up is called the mosaic plot. Mosaic plots are actually the section that we skipped in our textbook because we just didn't have time to learn about them. But it's basically showing you what proportion of the data end up in each combination of categories. But you don't have to use that here unless you want to. The main thing that we're seeing is the contingency table. So the contingency table looks a little bit more complicated than what we've seen in class because Jump is taking the contingency table and the tables of row and column proportions and putting them all into one table of numbers. So here you're going to have to kind of pick out the values that you want. So we can see our size variable is on the left hand side here and the drive variable is at the top with our different categories. The first row inside here, like here I have 7, 13, 9, and 29. That first row in each section is the contingency table. So I could pull out those numbers, the 9, 20, 5, 34, 9, 38, 47, and 25, 63, 22, and 110. And if I just pull out those numbers, that would be my contingency table. So I can see that because of the little key that's up here in the upper left-hand column or cell of this table. It's saying the first row is the count. The second row is a total percent. We're going to kind of ignore that one. And then column percent and row percent. That's where it's giving you your row and column proportions that we've learned how to calculate in class. So for example, let's look at the bottom one, the row percent. So in this row for large, I can see the row percents would be 24, 44, and 31. So that's saying for just large cars, what proportion are all-wheel drive? front wheel drive and rear wheel drive. And if I add those up, I'll get 100%. It's explaining all of my large cars. So we can get all of those numbers that we would want out of this one contingency table. 
The other output here you can just ignore, um, but this is how we get our basic summary statistics from when for when we're comparing two categorical variables. Now the other main thing that we would want to do is bar charts. So we already saw how to get a bar chart for one variable, but we can also get side-by-side -side bar charts. And for this, we're gonna use the graph builder. So we've used the graph builder for box plots, but we can also use it for many other types of graphs. And graph builder is all built on drag and drop. So you get to choose what variables you wanna put where. Um, for this one, I'm gonna start by putting drive on my x-axis. So I'm gonna highlight it and drag it over to my x-axis and then let it go. And right now it's just showing dots. It's showing how many points I have in each category, but I'm gonna click on this icon up here for bar. So it's gonna make a bar chart instead. And there we go. Now I can easily see most of my cars have front wheel drive and then it's about even between all wheel and rear wheel. Now, what if I wanna compare this to size though? I can grab my size variable and I'm gonna drag it up to the group X icon at the top. You can see it says group X, drag it there. So now it's saying group my bar chart into these three categories. Then I let go and now I can see it's separating large, mid-sized, and small cars and creating a bar chart within each of those categories for me. So now I can see that for each size of car, front wheel drive is the most popular, uh, but I can see that for large cars, real wheel, wheel drive, rear wheel drive becomes more common than all wheel drive, versus mid-sized cars, all wheel drive is more common. So that's a quick way that I can get the side-by-side -side bar chart to summarize two categorical variables. Those are the main summary measures that we use for categorical variables. There's a different video on how to do hypothesis testing when we have two categorical variables.